everyone. I have a new band to listen to and it is Slipknot. The song is going to be Duality and let's just dive right in, see what I have to read and then we'll listen. Slipknot is an American heavy metal band formed in Des Moines, Iowa in 1995. So many of these bands I hear of them being formed in the south or out west. Des Moines, Iowa, that's kind of a no man's land, isn't it? Slipknot is well known for its attention-grabbing image, aggressive style of music, and energetic and chaotic live shows. Is that positive speak for a hot mess? <laughs> Duality was released on May 4, 2004 as the first single from the band's third album. Duality reached band records of number 5 and 6 in the hot mainstream rock tracks and hot modern rock tracks charts. Yeah, maybe we should just describe them as a hot mess. In the UK singles chart, the song reached number 15. The song also charted on the Bubbling Under Hot 100 chart at number 6. Okay, let's see what this sounds like. I push my fingers into my eyes. It's the only thing that slowly stops the ache. But it's made of all the things I have to take So, the thing that strikes me about this, okay, yeah, it's heavy metal, eh, okay, they're just doing their thing with that, but the voice and the way this is presented vocally, um, it's really evocative. Um, at the beginning, you can hear the ache in his voice. It feels like I'm tired and I have a headache and I just don't feel good and oh, I try to stop the ache and and the despair. It's made of all the things I have to take. It never ends. It works its way inside and then and then launch into the scream. But then, okay, that's nice, good enough. But then, as we get into more of the uh, lyrical content, he returns to this sort of uh, narrated, um, recited style, not so much singing. And the music is very high energy, but the narration not so much. Okay, it's keeping pace, but it's not really energetic. It's not really just picking me up and grabbing me and, and holding me. And well, I haven't gone through exactly, so I don't know exactly what this duality is all about, but it suddenly gives me this very distinct feeling that there are two competing elements in this music. One is low energy. It's the, it's the ache, the, the headache, the, the mm, slow, tired, and the other is the really high energy music of the band, though not the singer. Peace. 
So this chorus or this recurring refrain, which is what opened so low energy and sleepy and achy, is now the part of the music where the voice actually becomes most energized, most frantic, most frustrated. Um, I'm not saying that he never gets up to a high energy. Actually, in this in this chorus, he does. But everything else around it, still, I feel like the band is the part, the instruments are the part that is driving this energy-wise. Even here. It's like he just got done with this with this screaming the, the chorus and then the band is like, well, hold on, let's show you the next level. and furious to the end. So this band, yeah, it's high energy. And in fact, I notice, I was talking about how the, the instruments are the ones driving the energy and carrying it forward throughout the piece. And, and um, it's not just that. They're a bit ADHD. They're hopping around from, from one idea to another, kind of piecemeal, Yet without breaking the form, um, there's enough structure in the piece that it actually hangs together and works that way. But a lot of the metal, heavy metal pieces that I've listened to, once we start on a track, a musical course within the music, we kind of live there for a while and we build this this force and this drive through it, these are different. They build it and they carry the energy, but they manage to break it up and present it in small bits, different musical ideas bouncing from, from one motif to another. And, and um, you know, we manage to have this power and this force that is practically constant, but without it being such long stretches of the same musical figures. And maybe that's, maybe that's, well, I'm curious to see, to discover possibly some other bands who do that or not, but, but it seems to be something that is one of their features, one of their fingerprints. And maybe that's why, maybe that's why they're called energetic and chaotic. Should I call it a hot mess? Mm, it's not, it's not disastrous enough for me to call a hot mess. <laughs> it works together formally, um, continuity wise, it works. So I can't say they're a hot mess, although they are high energy, they are kind of ADHD, but within, within reason. So there we have it. And um, well, that was my first exposure to Slipknot and Duality was the song. Let's see what comes next and I'll see you soon. <laughs>